one uh, uh, we're going to in this tutorial we're going to show you how you can set up all the necessary settings for the uh, 100% blueprint project uh, on in the on Engine marketplace uh, I'm going to show you how you can take pictures from the map uh, and how to start like you know texturing how to uh, adjust the section and the room settings uh, how to add an actor inside the map most specifically the landmarks and points of interests how to use the UI keys and how to add markers and how to change the settings for uh, the market first when you download the project you can see the interactive map here and then for starters we need the map to demonstrate how to do it our template map so we go to maps you can select your own map here and then as you can see this is this is the rooms how, how we've placed the rooms the different floors and then I'm just gonna make a map out of it from starters in the place actor you can find it here if you don't have it you, you search search for scheme capture 2d drag and drop it and then let's just adjust its location and rotation uh, let's make the X and Y to 0 and then these uh, Z something something which is a bit above the map so we can get get a good view um, let's just type in 1000 1, I think that should be okay so yeah as you can see it's above the map and then the rotation to minus 90 again minus 90 it should be good we have the scene capture ready and then we must place the uh, capture the re 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 in the render target and then when you go to the content you press texture and you find render target here uh, for instance rt underscore map Map, uh, map, render. map render after you create it you must put the reference in the scene capture and then you can, I'm going to drop and drop it here get the scheme and get you ready in the detail panel the texture target is also ready then you must change the project and type to auto graphic and then make sure you adjust the ortho with let me see my map. I think my map is 10,000. 10, Make sure you, t you type in 10,000 as well. Yeah. And an important number to, to bear in mind. And as you can see in the map render, we have a map. Uh, it's, it's not a good color, it's not a good state. The resolutions are, are quite low. Uh, let's make it 4K to improve it. Type, type in if you have always especially if you have a big map uh, 4k is is a desirable option so yeah press yes and then adjust the Y as well 1496 so let's scroll scroll zoom out and then as you can see the map is ready here I have my room and then this is these are my stairs and this is the uh, the, the story beneath the ground floor I have the walls here obviously you must take this picture and go and change it in the Photoshop or any application that you can to change the style of the map and make it make it desirable based on your needs but make sure you don't change the coordinations in the map. You just set your you just place your settings in, in over here. Don't change anything, the resolution or anything, the coordination. Keep it as is. And then if you want to export it to to another application, you come here and then right click on the render target that we that you've created. And then you, you click 
click here, create static texture. You can see, this, you can see the texture. But then I'll offer my speed turn off. And then you can, what you do, you can do, bring it in Photoshop. It's the same, same map you have. So, so make sure you come here in the asset actions and export. To, to whatever whenever you want the file location I'm just gonna export it in this folder and, and then when you take it you bring it into Photoshop and then you, you then you bring it back all right to, to, to after you export your your map from UE to Photoshop make sure you delete the scene capture yeah just over here and the render target as well, because it's going to affect your performance uh, by by a large scale. So, after you set up the the map, the map section, the settings, you need to specify the the territory, the room territory, uh, and you need to set it in the map. So. I'm gonna search for BB room and just gonna drag, drag and drop it into the, into the map, and then set the territory within uh, for, for this for this blueprint. Let's just increase the size and set it so it can fit the map. Let's just increase it. Let it tweak around it a little bit so it it, it will fit. Just influence it. Put it to the side. It sh should be okay. It should it should be okay for now. And then when you select the BP room blueprint and you come into the detail section, for for for, for the mask you need to specify which part of the map. The room, the room is in which part of the map. So, for instance, when you look in, in, in when you look in the map, for instance, this is the room that we selected. It's, it's this is this it's, it's actually this part. And then you go into the Photoshop or any design application, and you make a mask for it. And then you set it for this blueprint. For instance, I've already set one. Let me, let me see. Uh, minus one. Okay, mask. Something like this. Yeah, so it, it will exactly fit the map. Wait, so you can set different colors for it. If if the map hasn't been explored, or if if you have certain items for it or landmarks for it, this is with this mask you can do all these uh, all, all dimension uh, aspects features. You must specify. The section for this room for the room for instance i want this to be a part of the house section for instance the safe house and then for the floor you need to set the lowest floor as zero for instance this is this is this is zero so if we want to set up another room here and let's type in the new room that's it here and drop it here Make it to fit within the parameters. Reset the size. Um, before we go any further, I just did. Uh, I just placed a notification. I added this delay over here between uh, event begin play and create because in the begin play, uh, all the objects might not might not be loaded completely. So we might be missing some parts. So uh, you need to make sure you do that. And to this room, you you add the BP room, and if if you want to add a text, for example, to this location, if if this if this location has a name, you can add it by coming to to this part BP room, and in the BP room section, you can find the BP C point of interest, and uh, there are some settings in here that you can adjust. Uh, like the text to display size whatever so let me just gonna let me just change the text 
it's going to be display. Just, I'm just going to type in uh, storage. Yeah, and the change will be will, will take effect uh, in the map. And then you can go to other sections and then do the same thing. For instance, in the BBC uh, points of interest, I'm going to type in main, main hole. And this one, um, yeah, restroom. This one as well, just 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 to demonstrate. If we press play, you can see uh, it has affected the names have been affected. Okay, um, if you want to add um, any custom actor to the map. You can just select the the character that you want, the actor that you want. For example, there's already one. For example, if you want, uh, let me just type BPC points of interest, and then in the section you're gonna pre you're gonna select add, and then come over here and then search compact for instance. To, to players and then if you go and start the game you can see that it should, by moving the character uh, you can you can see an icon icon that shows the location of the character without any uh, performance loss You can add any more actors here. For instance, I already have some test actors. For instance, let's just try to drop this test actor here. In this section, it has a default icon like this. And if you go and uh, press play, you can see a blinking actor which is over there it can be seen easily on the map okay also I'm gonna show you in the UI section so if, if, if when you press any button like what, what are the actions when you, so when you come here you search for get 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 people Sorry, get a owning uh, player controller. And you just type in set the input mode uh, for the UI only. This is obviously just a demonstration. You can set up your the key buttons for the map, and then as the map opens, you can set this for the UI. So if we go to the map. Uh, you can you can move the map with the W A S D keys, moving left and right and up and down, and then you can change the categories with the the less less than the greater than symbols next to the M key. If you set the category correctly for each actor, you can see that it will it will work correctly, and then you can use the G, G and C to, to move the floors. One floor up, one floor down. <clears throat> and then if, if you want to change any of the settings, you go to the WBP map and then you come uh, in, in the class defaults, you, you come here and change the defaults, obviously. The key category, the, the category left, category right, section right, section left. These are, the, these are the default settings, but you can obviously change it based on what you need. 
And if 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 there's a certain button for the move for, to move, you go to um, the I think it was in the let me let me let me let me check. Actually, you go to WPP Nav. It's the parent. Uh, it's, it's, it's the parent of the map, as you can see here. And in this in this section, you go to class defaults again, and then you find the keys. As you can see, there are keys for navigations, key for actions. We don't have we haven't set any actions here, but but then you can you can place your actions over here. Real quick, real simple. Okay, last part. Uh, let's show you how the market future. Let's show you guys how the market future uh, operates. So I'm just, this is how I place markers by clicking in the middle mouse button. Clicking the middle mouse button. Wherever I press the middle mouse, I'll, uh, I'm, I'm able to place a marker. And as you can see, there's a actor that can be seen. In, 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 in the actual map, in the actual gameplay area. And if you want to change the actor, you can go and search for BP marker. And then <clears throat> in the viewport, you can set the. Yeah, over here. You can set the material here. The material can be changed easily from over here. So this is how I'm going to change it. I'm just going to play some gold metal. As you can see, this is how the marker will be shown in the world itself, not not in the map. Um, make sure you need you have to add you, you add the BPC marker as you can see here to 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 your correct address, which makes which which makes it possible for for, for the character to create a new marker. And as you can see. Yeah, this is the mark section. This, this should be should be added to the character. Oh.